take it all the way from the beginning? All right. Yo, what's going on everybody, man? Welcome to MKTP The Closet. It's myself here with Lonnie. What to do? Um, this is the first one actually being recorded this year. It is May 4th. Um, as stated before, you know, when we get around to record them, we record them. Uh, it's just been a busy year for myself. Uh, I know lonnie has been busy as well. Yes. A lot of life-changing decisions and choices and things that's been happening that's been made. But uh, yeah, man, how you been? How you, how you been doing? I've been good, man. Uh, recently, you know, about to get married soon. So that's, oh, that's a snap. Step. About to get married. Yeah, so that's that's the biggest part of my life right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, so taking that next big step. But other than that, uh, everything's been going good, man. No complaints of mine. That's what's up, man. Definitely no complaints. Uh, you know, a lot of people who follow me on my social media and stuff like that. I've been in Israel over 50% of the year working and stuff like that. So it feels good to be back. I actually leave on Mother's Day, um, 7, 8, 9. Like, I leave nine days from now, from the day of this recording, to go back to Israel. Oh, so, wow. um, yeah, staying busy. Um, Tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo. Uh, if you're watching this, it's probably released on the day of Cinco de Mayo. So, yeah, man, a lot of, uh, you know, Lonnie and I will be moving around in the city. So, if you watch this, you might hit one of our stories to see what went down, how things went down, uh, all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, man, we're here to talk about sneakers. Uh, starting off with uh, the latest pickups. You know, I usually do a pickup video whenever I get new sneakers, but since I was filming with Lonnie, I kind of saved mine for that. Uh, I guess I'll go first. Um, what you got? What you got? You know, he's more the the bringing the heat. So the, I just bought these today. I was going through. So one of the topics that we'll discuss and break down the shoe sitting. So I went to the mall to see what shoes were in the mall. So while in the mall, I go to Snipes. Snipes is formerly Jimmy Jazz. Right. And um, they have fifty. I see a few people gather around a few tables and stuff. Fifty percent off. So. Um, <laughs> you see the box. A lot of people might not buy this brand, but I'm a huge Reebok fan. Um, so I, this pair, I guess I'll open it up and then I'll tell the story right quick. Very classic. A lot of people do Air Force Ones. I do Reeboks. Oh yeah, um, that's your yeah. go-to. So yeah, 50% off. So I only paid 40 bucks. <laughs> that's a win. <laughs> he said that's my go-to. Everybody that knows me knows that I love Reeboks. <laughs> I'm laughing because. We have a sneaker group chat, and shout out to Larry. He, Larry he just brought that up. That's he, he literally said, yeah, that's, that's true all day right there. <laughs> Larry has all white with the gum bottom, and he sent me a picture of him. And I actually did a poll on My Hits of Passion, because when I was in Phoenix on Sneak the Sneaker Podcast, Greg said that gum bottoms were overrated. And, uh, See, I don't think they are. You don't think they are? Nah. Cause so, that, that helps like preserve that sole, especially something like this white. Here. Right. It helps preserve this part. Yeah. So that's and that's what I'm saying. I had I was about to wear a pair of these yesterday, Wednesday. This is a Thursday we're recording this, and all of this was dirty. And I said I need to get a new pair because mm -hmm. they are my they are not uh, in condition enough for me to wear them and be fresh. So I'll probably just wear them one day, the older pair in uh, New Orleans one day, and just kill them. But yeah. Uh, that was a go-to shoe, man. Back in G, man. That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. For a lot black of people. Black with the gum bottom, white with the gum bottom, all whites to all blacks. <laughs> Very classic. Um, you know, not too expensive. I know you do Air Forces. I think we the last time we filmed, you said in high school, one year you yeah, had like sixty-four. Sixty-four. Just, of just white. Of just Air Force. all white low top Air Forces. So yeah, bought these today. So I needed an all white shoe. A lot of people do Air Forces. I still do with my classes. So that's my all white shoe. Um, so next up, shout out to Stu. So uh, shout out to Stu, Jones Hall Podcast. He will be a guest very soon. Um, so I'm in Israel and the guy asked, talking to Stu and he asked me, uh, Stuart, um, I don't want to say his last name because I know people might not know who he is or whatever, but uh, he asked me what size shoe I wear. So I tell him what size. And he sends me a picture and he said, I got these in 11 and a half. I said, oh, that is perfect because I wear an 11 and a half in LeBron's. So, um, lucky you. And I wanted these shoes before he messaged me, two days before, maybe the day before, I looked at these shoes because when I first saw them, I said I wanted them. I just didn't feel like they were worth the retail price. So, man, uh, I think we talked about that a while back when they first dropped the uh, LeBron's points. Yeah, we did. That was one of the things we talked about is if they're worth, the price. So Christmas, LeBron's. 
definitely excited about these. Uh, shout out to Stu. Stu blessed me with a pair of these. Um, for my, my size, everything. Uh, I always wanted this shoe. I was gonna wait. I was gonna wait until they went to under 100, and they were like 120 the last time I looked at them. Oh, so and they, then, they went under retail. Yeah, they were they're 80 dollars under retail right now. Um, and the thing about it is that they make so many of them. I think that kind of plays into it. Yeah, they, they put out so many different colorways that it's if you miss one colorway, you can still if you like the silhouette of the shoe itself, you're able to still get the shoe. I mean, that's a great. That's the Christmas colorway right now. Right. Uh, now I wish they would have went red instead of this kind of fuchsia. Kind yeah, of yeah, I think. It, I mean, well, it's got the red shoe strings, right? No, see, uh, it's, it's got like yeah. the fuchsia strings. So I would have went red to kind of go with somewhat of this chick. But I think that's part of fuchsia too. It's just a different type of material. And my thing is that I think they didn't want to make it too close to the Grinches. Like they wanted to go as close. I mean, as they, they could. made the still wear the <laughs> shoe close to, <laughs> to the Grinches. I mean, you might as well just go ahead and do the whole. Just shoe. do the whole shoe. Give you a yeah, LeBron Grant. Yeah, y'all are the same contract and Nike and everything. You might as well. But I get, I get. It's still a nice shoe. Though. I mean. I want to yeah. get the shoe to play ball in. Just to, I like to test the basketball. Oh, did you ever do that? I think last time we talked. I didn't get it. I didn't, they didn't okay. have my size, uh, so I didn't even work. Because that was the plan that you were going to get a pair for you to hoop in. Yeah. Yeah. You know the box, Maybe. so you know what these are. Maybe beat the shit out your body. I, I'm glad you noticed. So, I ordered these from StockX. And, uh, you know, I've been blaming StockX for it. I don't know if this was a it, that, product of StockX. It could have be been from the shipping. Um, but I deliver. Who's to say, right? They could have just approved these um, at StockX. And what did you say is add more character to the whole vintage look? It do It adds too much character. <laughs> but yeah, I got my StockX receipt. Uh, so uh, if you watch me on Sneak Disc, I did say that this was. I went to Phoenix and I was looking for these shoes. So I was looking for these in Phoenix. I was willing to pay 500 for them, but the cheapest they had them was like 550. Mm -hmm. So, right after I did sneak this, they had a restock. So when the restock happened, I was in the dentist's office in the chair. And I could feel it, so I, with my Apple Watch, I can, if you have an Apple Watch, you know the different notification vibrations and stuff. Mm -hmm. So when it happened, I got three vibrations in a row. So I followed two or three different sneaker uh, accounts on Twitter who notify me of releases okay. and I said it's happening like right now it's happening it is going and by the time I was able to I kind of had to finagle my way of getting the woman out of my mouth pause uh, <laughs> to for me to be able to get up and look on my phone and sure enough the release happened I was like maybe 45 a minute minute 15 I still entered lost yeah. So I just said I'm gonna just go yeah, ahead it on. Was over, it was over once you got in there, bro. It was over, right. By the time I got in it, it was over. It was already over. So I just said, you know what? I'm gonna just go ahead on and do, uh, just get it out the way. When I got these, so my wife knew I've been wanting these. The first thing she said was, "You finally got them." I was like, "Yes." She probably was aggravated by you <laughs> from hearing me about it. I uh, got my little receipt, <laughs> so yeah. But finally got them. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna wear them though. I have so many. So I have these. I have the origin story, Jordan 1's, which is the, the original Spider-Man Jordan 1's, yeah. which look more like the Chicago's. Mm -hmm. um, I have the LA to Chicago Jordan 1's, which they're purple and gold, but they do rub off to become Chicago's. Um, Did you rub your off or you let it rub off on the job? Uh, I just got those. I haven't worn them yet. So, um, but I almost bought a pair that was rubbed off on eBay. So, I have a lot of like Chicago looking shoes. Um, and last but not least, I brought this in the box because I ordered it from Porter. So, uh, they asked you, they say, do you want like this recycled type packaging or the actual Porter packaging? So I said, let me get the Porter packaging. Let me see what that's about. Uh, that is, oh, all right. So yeah, <laughs> so that's receipt. This is return label in case, in case you want to return it. I think it's very thoughtful. Sorry. So it comes in this black packaging. Like some famous black packaging. You fold it out. They have Mr. P on the box. You see it has a little wrap on it. I'm like, okay. I'm kind of curious. I don't know we doing a little something, something. Yeah, of course, you see the box. Classic Nike box. Um, did you did y'all see Air? Comment at the bottom and let us y'all let us know what y'all thought of y'all saw the movie. I haven't seen Air yet. So I want to see it. Amazon makes the movie, so it's gonna be on Amazon. It's made by Amazon. Amazon's gonna make the 
Amazon has made the movie. I know it's gonna be on Amazon Prime soon. Okay. So I wait to do. Uh, shout out to Greg uh, again. He, this was a shoe that was inspired by him. He said, you know, if you're a rare Air Max head, you need to have a pair of these. I know you're not a big fan of these, but Silver Bullets. Oh, yeah. They went on sale. So that's why I got them. Mr. Porter, they went on sale, and the sale price was cheaper than resale. So I was like, all right, let me go ahead and grab my second pair of Air Max 97s. I have the Volt undefeated. And, and that's now, how you package with the wrap on with this. Yeah, if you order from Mr. Porter, that is the packaging. They put the black. Uh, paper in it so that the box won't just be jumping around and stuff but um, I wanted to wear and I might wear these. This still is a clean class shoe now. I, 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 like I said I'm not I'm a big fan of 97s but this is still one of those shoes that you want to incorporate into your rotation at some point. Uh, still a comfortable shoe. I, I have an older pair. So you I do have a pair of 97s? Yeah. Silver bullets. Oh, silver bullets. Okay. Yeah, I just beat the hell out of them. That's all. <laughs> so yours look way better than mine. <laughs> but uh, it's still just that classic steel wet shoe that's very slim. Still gives you a nice little edge to your your uh your get up whatever right. you're rocking. Right. But uh, I, I mean, I, I always liked the ninety sevens. I just wasn't a fan. If I had to choose ninety sevens or. Air Max 1s, I'm going Max 1s, you know. So Air Max 1s is all yeah, day, every day. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a go-to. I might wear these tomorrow for Cinco de Mayo because I want to give them a full test run of walking around, see what comfort is like and stuff like that. I haven't worn any of them. That's my second pair. Um, I usually, I wanted to wear my LeBrons, but I was like, I got to make this video first before I wear them. But I might rock these tomorrow, so we'll see. Um, the shirt I plan on wearing, these might go very well with it. Oh, yeah. So... And clean them when you, when you get a clean pad, look good. Yeah, 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 they do get that. Look at that man, I'd be like, man, these stuff's so just crap. <laughs> but I just want it. I just want, well, like I said, I got a good wearing out of mine, so that's probably why mine look the way they do. Right. Uh, yeah, you uh, definitely put, put, put yours to work. Oh, yeah. So. But a lot of people like this shoe, though, because uh, it's an easy, everyday shoe, you know, especially like if you want to be sporty, you don't want to be dressy, you know. Thank right. You. It does have that casual or, you know, chill, toned down type look and stuff like that. So Definitely was expecting that. I was expecting something else. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they was on sale, but you know, they treat every shoe with the same respect. Hey, so, wrong with that. That's how you're supposed to treat your shoes, man. Like, some shoes don't get the same credit as other shoes. Right, right. So I would you, uh, you know, that was my latest four pair. It grew very swiftly. Um, I don't think I've purchased any other pairs because... I don't think I bought anything. I don't think I'll buy anything else until I come back from Israel. I do want the Militia Green Air Max 97 so I can have both of the undefeated. But I don't plan on buying uh, the military. It's a, Militia Green is what they're called. It's like an olive green. It looks just like an olive oh, green. Oh, it's olive green with the undefeated. Yeah, with right. the under green. Right. Yeah, oh, they released some some time back, huh? Right, right, right. Yes. Okay, yeah, I remember though. It was two, it was two, there was a black pair and there was an olive pair. Right, I probably, right, right about now, I'm trying I like to get the them black, for I like the black pair because I remember I put those as I want on the go. Okay. I'm supposed to go back and get them, but I, just never, I still got it on there. I just never went back and got them. The guy, I had a bid with a guy on eBay. I, I offered him 100 and then he counter offered for 105 and I was so busy that I didn't get a chance to accept the offer. So I probably ended up paying like 100 or That's more than 105 for it. No, not at all. I mean, she was originally 160 60? So let me double check. But yeah, so I probably ended up getting it for 100 bucks. Yeah, I think it's 160 So, uh, oh, I got it right here. I already saved in the... Uh, they came out in 2020. It's going to be 180 So I'll probably get it for 100 But yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I like the black one. The black one just a pad you know, looking to me. But, but uh, yeah, yeah, let us know what you got. I'm going to double check the audio record while you do that. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're good. Okay. We're good. <laughs> got to make right. sure you guys can hear <laughs> So, uh, which pair should I? I guess I say these for last. It's okay. a little bit more different from what people actually Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. You got to end with the shebang. So, I, I'll start with these. Right. Pretty sure most of you guys know these just recently came out. You're looking at the box, and I love the fact that they have been changing the color of the box and matching. Yes, shoes. because I mean, when you're looking at the shoes, you don't want to be going through like gotta read the small writing to find what's what. If you don't have the sticker, I know most right. people put the sticker, uh, 
the type of shoe it is with the stickers now. They got the so stickers. So if y'all suggestions, where can we get that? Because I, I wanted like, to do yeah, that. Yeah, something like how they got like exactly stickers. like that. That's meant to go on your shoe box. You yeah, know what? Like a, right. So what, you bought that one or it came with? No, the that shoe? Came, that came with the shoe. Okay, it came with the shoe. But I just shoe. had it for so right. I like, got this cup from my manager at the time when I was at Foot Action. She gotcha. was all cups and stuff. And I, just I just had that that sticker just hanging around from when I had got them at Ruckus that time. Shout I was out, looking. Shout out to Ronnie. Shout out Ronnie. I was looking online. The stickers are actually fairly expensive, so I'm like, maybe I need to try. I believe they got like more reasonable ones somewhere. I'm at the uh, look because yeah. they they do vary. Right. Certain people, you know. They maximize on, you know, people buying those couldn't put them on their boxes because if you got the black and red boxes like they do for the uh, ones, you don't want all that. the ones, yeah. Yeah, so now I'm, I'm like, yo, man, I'm glad that y'all doing like this. It's more easy to identify what's what. Right. I ain't got second guessing. Uh, so, actually, I don't know what it is. I love green. Oh, you haven't worn those. I haven't worn them yet. So, I, I actually, uh, actually. So, you love green one of your favorite colors? It actually, blue, oh, is, blue is my favorite color. Okay, gotcha. But green, orange, brown, like those those tone colors, like they work for me. Uh, but, like I told, I think I was telling you, I had I have the pine green ones. Yeah. The uh, the clay green joint ones. And it was the other. These look good. And it's another one that looks similar to this. The, uh, this uh, it's the one with the green toe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The green yeah. toe. Uh, uh, so, uh, now this green is actually a little, it's a good bit lighter than right. like your normal dark green mm -hmm. for green colors, uh, which was fine for me. You know, the lucky, I think these were the lucky day green. I said call the lucky, lucky, lucky green? Lucky okay. Green, something like that. Because <laughs> I did around St. Uh, Patty's Day. Oh, okay. So it's around, okay. Got you, got you. Uh, but I mean, that's. It's just one of those shoes you kind of yeah lucky green Jordan one yeah. retro high OG lucky green so you can kind of pretty much wear it's this colorway you can kind of wear it with it there and they're starting now to put the shoestrings in boxes now what let me boxes. see so it's not in little bags some of them are it has a Jordan some, some of them are in plastic bags I think but I think they are transitioning into putting in those uh, okay boxes. so it says that it says Nike's journey toward a zero carbon and zero waste future mm -hmm. this so, box is 100% recyclable. So yeah, all right. So that's what they're doing. Everything's becoming more recyclable now. You know, they're trying to reuse, renew, reuse a lot of different things now. When people throw stuff away, gotcha. And that's how we want to think people throw away, but not be how people all that stuff. <laughs> right. Half time, I don't need. I might not. I might change my laces. So if I do change the laces, it might be a darker green that I might go with instead of this. Ah, uh, okay. So now you're gonna change them with a pair of laces that's not even coming with the shoe. Right. Okay. If I do, but I mean, I like the black one, the classic black look to them. But uh, I mean, it's a good quality to it. It's it's not your tumble. It's not your tumble like it is on your ones. Right. Uh, it's more just that kind of regular hard kind of leather. Mm -hmm. So it will it will crease. But I don't care. That don't mm -hmm. bother me now. But uh, it's got like the genuine leather on the back. Right. And on the upper here, so still came out a good 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 quality looking shoe. Uh, and it's one of those shoes that kind of. We'll, I know we're gonna be talking about it later, but uh, one of those shoes are set too for a little minute for some people. Cause uh, yeah, shoes are just dropping, dropping like popcorn around here. <laughs> you know, popcorn always hitting the floor. People don't know how to eat popcorn. <laughs> I love popcorn, by the way. Shout out popcorn. <laughs> I don't like popcorn. You don't like popcorn? No. I no, I eat caramel, but it's not something like when I go to the movies. I'm not getting popcorn, I'm getting nachos. You gotta get it. Oh, you get nachos, okay, okay. All right, nachos. I feel like that's a better substitute for me. Cause I don't like the crunch getting stuck in my teeth, man. Like, I gotta dig all that out, the little, little cupboard up. You're right. like, oh, I can't get it, then I gotta go get it too, man. It's aggravating. I used to always do popcorn. It's always, by the time the movie comes on, I've eaten so much of it that I'm done with it. So yeah. all through the trailers, I mean the popcorn. Next on my get up. Pretty sure you guys know this box as well. Came back with one of my favorite Stillwood shoes, but in an alternate form, the original alternate form. Ah, uh, okay, okay. The Big Bubble. And so, it was originally the Big Bubble? Or that, was that's the big, I, it just something special? I think it, well, that's what they started off with. Okay, like so said, they started with the Big Bubble. As a, I guess what, like, you know, how, I guess how they do their samples? Right. They started off with that. Gotcha. And then they end up going back to the smaller bubble over time because it just I guess that's what they sought out to, right. to be. Uh, but I actually like it with the big bubble. I mean, I mean it's a little bit different in the 
the uh, the sole itself, you know, it's a little bit more curved in the back. Yeah. Uh, this here kind of, you know, usually have like these three, these two lines would extend along here on right. this part. So it looks oh, a little okay. bit so different. Shot, but that if way you way. don't know it different, no better, you wouldn't think too much of because this is a, a regular Amex one to you. Right. But uh, and then they start to put the size on the actual inside. Oh, right there on. That's all. I want to see what the resale for these are going for. Um, I see, yes, yeah, printed, imprinted. Yeah, if you they got the little tin, it's like right there on the shoe. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and I, uh, I think like the tote box is it's more rounded. Uh, the original ones, well, not the the ones that came out before these. Uh, it's more kind of pointed, like the toes are pointed. I don't know if you ever pay attention to your Air Maxes there. Oh yeah, yeah. This one is definitely more rounded. More rounded, which I think that gives more comfort to the, the front, of your, front of your feet, right? Uh, for most people, so especially if you have a wide foot, I believe. Retail too. price one fifty at the time of this record. Well, at the time of this record, retail price will always be one fifty. Uh, size ten, resale one seventy four. Lowest, highest bid one sixty six. Lowest ax one seventy four. So last sold at two twenty. Last sold at two twenty, but you can get a pair of one seventy four right now. Yeah. Um, I mean, the name of the game now, when it comes to sneakers, is just patience. Honestly, I know a lot of people like to be the first people with them. Or, this, that, and the third, that, for me, that don't make me, like, that make no damn mind for me. If I want them, I want them, no matter when I get them, <laughs> uh, as long as I get them. But uh, most people, I know a lot of people want to be the first ones with them and stuff like that, which is, I mean, that's your prerogative, but I can wait. Right. And be just as satisfied as if I got them, to, you know, before anybody else. Yeah. You know, and I think that sets, sets aside, you know, sets you aside from other people too as well. Right. Yeah, definitely, I mean, I'm definitely, I mean, both of us are, very deep in uh, looking at the quality and checking these out and stuff. But these look pretty good. I might consider it. It's yeah. a lot long. long Man, I can't wait till they do another uh, a Nike by you. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So you took advantage of that. I was, oh, in yeah. I was trying one. to get two of them, but they wouldn't let me do two. I'm you know, Nike you know, by you. I'm always at the. Which first. I'm pretty sure they knew that I was going to try to have. So I understand. <laughs> they I figured it out to where, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I was in Israel with a Nike by you, and it, it wouldn't accept my order because it thought that I was tr somebody trying to hack into my account or whatever. But yeah, no, uh, you was able to. Yeah, your Nike by you was look really good too. Yeah. So yeah, these look good. These look good. Definitely, and I definitely like the box. I, I never seen the box. I yeah, wondering. the box. I, I thought this was like a this Halloween is, shoe. It, that I like. You know, we love our Halloween <laughs> theme stuff. Uh, but yeah, I mean, when you're looking at that box, you. Paying for that box as well. Yeah, the box is very, it's a very it's sturdy, hardy box. Sturdy, sturdy. You know, most you see time. the dots from, you know, that, that goes with the equivalent of the air bubble. Right, inside the air bubble, that. So I think it's very unique and stuff. So yeah. Nike check window. Right. Like, that's Nike what those concepts look Definitely, like. definitely. Yeah. At first, I was like, man, when I first saw it, like, somebody got a fake pack. 86 OG, okay. They ain't got a fake pad, man. They ain't got the wrong box. They ain't got the brown box they're supposed to have. <laughs> they just created their own box and then come to find out this is the actual. So, box. where'd you get yours from? Uh, politics. Oh, speaking of politics. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, cool. Yeah, so. Uh, but you know, what? I'm talking about when I first actually, when they start putting the pictures out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't right, think, right. I was like, oh, somebody got that already. I already make a fake, so I already. <laughs> but, uh, but no, I mean, I guess when it comes to certain shoes, there's only so much you can fake about a shoe. Right. Uh, I'm pretty sure any shoe can be fake, but it's almost so much you can, nobody's gonna go to that limb to try to fake it. You know, they'll try to fake the high end stuff to get more money off yeah. of it. Uh, this is something that, you know, they yeah, sit and people buy as it, as it go. Right. Uh, I just noticed the tongue on it is different too, the, the tab. They, you know, they cut it like the how the original was, was. Uh, they I cut you, the tab, you. you know, the material on it. But, uh, it is, yeah. Yeah. The 86 Air Max ones. Oh, yeah, I, I never even thought about getting these, but after seeing, you know, you... Uh, I'm going to tell you to the Air Max 1 fan. So yeah, cool. see, you definitely putting work in. He's making it happen. Shout out to my barber, Trev. Trev as well. He, he was doing Air Max 1s. I think I asked him how many pair of Air Max 1s he had. He I, want he the, I want the Royal Blue ones, man. That's the, spent the original one. That's so expensive. They probably going to do a big bubble on those, too, at some point, I'm sure. Absolutely. So, my other latest pickup I hit on sneakers. Uh... Most of you might know about this box. Uh, most of you might not. Most of yeah. you might not. Very but uh, it's so I I really didn't understand the concept of it for real because it was I think it's like a Japanese or Chinese uh, like shoe like right. the concept who, who was who was dealt with. Uh, but I just thought it was unique in its own way. 
And uh, it's like we all talking about how you can dress up shoes and dress down shoes. This is the epitome of what that actually means. So, so wait, before you show it to us, uh, <laughs> we're going to take a quick break and be right back. I'm close this up for y'all to So we back, so we about to uh, get into this mystery box here, uh, this high-end box. I like it because even though it's printed, it looks almost like somebody hand drew all the designs. And, and, that, and like I that. think they probably did, man. That's it. I mean, you, you, people are getting real creative with their boxes now, which is a good thing because you want to have a, you want your shoes to match your box. Right. You don't want to just a plain Jane box and have a dope sneaker. You want the box to match the sneakers. Yeah. Uh, and it helps you to identify the shoe. Right. So looking at it, I mean, you wouldn't be able, probably can guess kind of. Somewhat, but not really. But uh, I'm not even sure how to pronounce this word. Uh, <laughs> Kawando one. Okay. We're just gonna say that's what it says. Yeah. And this is all one word, but I'm gonna break it up into syllables so that you know exactly what I'm saying. Peace minus one. So if you put, <laughs> if you spell it exactly how I just said it, put all that together. It's in one right word. here on the little side. Yeah, it's um, all one word. Peace minus one. And I'm guessing, you know, peace. Minus. Oh, and then the line through the minus. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. So it makes sense. I hope that's what it is. <laughs> so, uh, it's got a nice little, little paper in it, black paper. Right. So. Okay. <laughs> so, first, first I went looking at it, you're going to think it's a golf shoe. I better say because it has the bottom of a golf shoe. So that and these, this flap here on the right. front makes it look like, and these are all removable too as well. Okay. Uh, they're tied. Like okay, they're I right. see. They're in through the laces, mm -hmm. right? Through the laces, so you could remove them if need be if yeah. you want. So, this was just a very unique shoe based off a of classics uh, wingtip shoe. Uh, like they used to wear back in probably what, like the 70s, 60s, 70s. Right. Uh, and. In Japan, or I think it's in Japan or Tokyo, one one of those places. They have they have a very unique style when it comes to when it comes to doing concept shoes and how they rock them with today's now fashion. And for me, this is something definitely outside of my repertoire because I, I probably would never back in the day pick something like this. Now we got a friend that we knew for sure will wear something like this. Tony McCray. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to Tony. Mr. MKTP himself, the originator. Uh, shout out to him. But uh, it, it, it gave me that, when I, I, I kind of bought these and I thought about him when I got these too. I'm like, man, it's something definitely he would wear. Yeah. Uh, this he, really he definitely helped my style out too. So I can't say, and it is, does have some weight to it. So it has kick, some weight to it. If I kick the hell out of you with these, just know you're going down. It ain't no joke. So okay, different laces, right? Okay, it has just a yellow piece minus one tip, on the tip. On right, there. these are black. That one has yellow tip. Yes, yeah, so you can keep it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, if you see lining with these, then you don't want him to kick or stump you out. And they are comfortable. That's the crazy part. Oh, so, so you tried them on. You... Yeah, I tried. I tried them on. Uh, they are comfortable. Now they are. For me, it's an exact snug fit. Right. If I would have went up to like a ten and a half. I'm not sure how much room I would have mm -hmm. had in the front. So it fits exact, but not exact to where it's right. uncomfortable. So the shoe will stretch, probably. Yeah, over time, because it's, it's, it's... Now, this is more like that soft kind of leather. Oh, it is soft leather, yeah. So like it, a, it's going to give. Like a jacket, yeah. But this part is, you know, more of the stiff kind of leather. Yeah. But this part is going to give, so this is going to bend and widen out, and probably more I wear. Uh, I had to look up and see what the history is behind this because yeah i didn't get a chance to look up the history like i would have liked to i just i knew i liked to shoot something different and you know i just want something different in my you know my uh rotation i probably won't wear these as often i probably wear these you know every blue moon for maybe a specific you know a lot of people doing the sneaker uh sneaker and susa sneaker events now ah uh, yeah yeah this would uh, be perfect this would be a good event a uh, good sneaker for that event i think i got one coming up maybe they got one coming up. I don't know if I'm gonna be here for it, but I'm pretty sure I got this to wear in the future, or just on a random day. But uh, I'm not. I know I'm not gonna see nobody with these. I'm knowing. <laughs> not in Baton Rouge. Not in Baton Rouge. Nobody. I'm probably not gonna see these out in, in general. Like, I don't think I'm gonna see a lot of people. Nobody with these. These are kind of like 
uh, for people that are kind of have their own unique style that's wearing the Absolutely. baggy, big, you know, shoes. I'm not a big shoe fan like this, so this is kind of like my first, somewhat, my, probably my first one, like something similar to this. Right. Having a thick sole and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, I actually like this shoe, man. Uh, I didn't think I didn't know how much I was gonna like when I saw it in person, but sometimes I like to be classic but early. <laughs> this covers that basis. <laughs> but that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Uh, definitely glad that you got a pair that was able to see them. That the fans and the people out there watching uh, that are curious about them can definitely see them. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing you in them. So you haven't worn them, you just tried them on? Just tried them on. I okay. Worn them, yeah. But I'm, I'm going to wear them soon. Cool. I am going to wear them soon. I'll make sure I have my pictures and everything while I'm stepping, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely got to take know. the particular. Got to take my angles. The picture particulars. Yeah, you know, but yeah, I can't wait to really wear them, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. So, um, I guess to jump into something that you mentioned earlier, shoe sitting. With these, you these were only online. Did you when you went online to get these on sneakers? Was it a first come first serve or a draw? I think it was a first come first. Serve. Okay, first come first serve. So you enter and it says you're in line. Yeah. And then you got the notification saying got. Yeah. Because okay. they didn't have a draw for those. You know they only do the draw for like the high, right? Hype stuff. You know that's, if that shoe was hype. It would have been in a draw. You know, in a draw. You know, but since it wasn't real, like, real hype behind it, it still sold out. Right. You know, but it wasn't the hype like this of Jordan ones and stuff like that. Uh, but that's probably. I mean, it's set, the certain size is set too. Like I think like bigger size, like 14, 15. Yeah. They sat for a little minute, but eventually I think they did. I want to say they might be still on it. I'm not sure. I have to look and see. But uh, yeah, I got when I hit. Hit with the notification. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get in, but I just tried my luck. I can't yeah, see. Else. See, I've done that too. It's funny you said it because I've done that with a lot of shoes. Like I will just try if I'm even slightly interested. I've tried shoes. I can say hoping that I would lose, but thinking like I'll probably just lose it. But it's cool because it shows Nike that I'm interested, and eventually I hit. Mm -hmm. Because I'm assuming, and this is my thought process: if you rack up on losses, eventually they're gonna give you a W for something you really want. Right. So I've entered stuff where I was just if it if it if I won and money was taken out and I won and I got it cool, but it wasn't like ooh I really want these. I'm like eh, you know what I'll enter. I'll probably lose, but I think it'll help me in the long run. Whenever it's something that I really want. Yeah, because I think it's an algorithm to to where you know so many wins to losses or losses to wins depending on you know how much you're playing the game. Right. Uh, and utilizing those videos, watching those videos, and uh, catching those. Uh, interviews and stuff like yeah. that. I guess all that makes a difference. At least I think they said it in. They sent like a message out once before or something like that. I've have seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, being in, being involved uh, helps you win more. But we don't actually know the system of how we play. We just play it, play the game to see if we win in general. Right. But uh, so I think you kind of talked about this and brought it up a little bit. Shoe sitting. Mm -hmm. So I know whenever you went to the mall and store. I'm trying to think if I took uh, any pictures of anything. I don't, I don't think I did. I usually was gonna take pictures of some stuff while I was in the mall to see what I was sitting. But uh, yeah, they still have uh, most of the recent stuff. Uh, I know those. They like the black black flint thirteens. That's kind of what they look like. Uh, they sat for maybe like a like a week. Same sizes. Right. Uh, a lot of some stuff got restocked. Some fives. I think those pink fives. Right. Got restocked. Uh, now they're dropping, you know, those mid top and low top, just regular ones in stores as well. Right. Uh, those car the Cardinal Sevens are still sitting. Uh, you know, that's a shoe that Jordan actually played in. Uh, that doesn't get as credit as it should. Um, what else? I think I think the the uh, PE Elevens, the red ones. Those oh the low tops yeah low okay tops. the low tops yeah they they set for it but it'd be like it don't be a full size run sometimes it'd be like scattered sizes right but because you have a little more inside but probably in the beginning it's all like a lot of size because now you know with the raffles and everything not everybody's coming to get them because I mean half the time you know they ain't got that money they just put it put the raffle and see if they hit but when you got a shoe dropping two or three shoes dropping a week you know it's hard to 
set your money up to say, oh, I'm going to get this. Now you got to be picky on what you get. That's why a lot of shoes are sick, which I think is a good thing because it gives other people that are not real sneaker heads, but they want to be a part of the sneaker culture and have fresh sneakers just like me and you. Right. It gives them that opportunity to go in there and cop them a fresh pair of sneakers and, you know, be a part of it. You know, not everybody, if, if all the shoes are getting sold out, nobody's be really a part of the culture. Because now you got to not not hating on the resellers because I don't knock nobody hustle. But you got, they're knocking heads off with prices. Right. And if you're not really into shoes like that, you just like want to buy, you want to have a nice pair. You ain't finna, you ain't going to want to spend no $150 on top, but you're already paying for retail. Yeah. You know, so you just let it go, let it be back on these back on. But I don't even think, but it's funny you said it because I don't look at, I don't think 150 is... Uh, all right, give me a shoe, and we'll we'll take a look at. It. We'll, well, we'll I mean, now shoes. retros. The only shoes that's, I mean, 150 are like regular Nikes. Right. Jordan ones are 170. You paying 186 after taxes. Uh, so the playoffs right now, and those we're, went for 210. Right. So they were like 230 something after taxes. So you can get those for 207, and I use StockX. And the reason why I, say I use StockX usually because it's the cheapest one. Goat costs more. I know a lot of people usually go with Goat, but if you just want a pair and you need a pair. And the cheapest route to go is usually StockX. It used to be eBay, but since eBay has kind of uh, up their ante in the game as being a prestigious um, sneaker dealer, their prices are kind of higher. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Jordan 13 Retros, you know. Um, and they're going for it. So, what I... What I now, what, now, granted, like like you said, right, 207. So, if you do buy now, with fees and stuff, it's 240. Dang. So you know, two hundred seven to two forty. Sales tax ten twenty five. Processing fee eight dollars. Shipping fifteen dollars. Well, make sure they get their money. So yeah. You still spend. So you still spend a good bit. But like you say, I think uh, a lot of people don't use apps. A lot of people don't trust apps. But back to what you were saying, because a lot of people like to go in the store and see it. Right. See yeah. it. You see it in the store. You can walk in, pick it up. I try shoes on those Reeboks I bought today. The woman said, "You want to try them on?" Absolutely. I just want to make sure. But yeah. Yeah. So, but I think I I guess this is my opinion. Uh, excuse me. The Nike Jordan brand now have are trying to outbeat the resellers from people reselling at because it's only so much a person gonna pay for a general release shoe like the Thirteen Playoffs. Yeah, those set for a while. You know that's why they dropped in price. Mm. Um. So yeah. now when it comes to resellers selling shoes, when they buying the shoe at one eighty one ninety. They were selling it for like two fifty, two sixty right. to make at least fifty dollars right, yeah. on top. Now you ain't making probably depending on the shoe and the hype on it. That's really what it's based off of now. If you ain't got no hype on it, you really wasting your money buying so many pairs of shoes. You gotta find that specific person that you're dealing with and be like, hey, do you want these? I can get them. Right. That's that's the whole premise so, of yeah, the conversation that you're having now with your customers. So you even gotta so you gotta kinda talk in advance to make sure you yeah, know. You always, you. I almost gotta have pre orders now with your with your sneakers. Right. If you want if you're being a reseller because I seen a guy he took an L on those true blue ones. Oh yeah, I did see it all. We talked about, yeah. I think we talked about that last time. He took an L on because he thought it was going because of it being saying the the name of being the true blue ones and then being a Jordan one it was going yeah. he was gonna maximize. Yeah, I'm sure it was going for that. But I think they under retail. <laughs> You know, so it's 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 a numbers game now. You gotta be careful how you how you buy stuff. Yeah, one sixty two for yeah. buying now. They're one eighty retail. Uh, latest sale was one hundred fifty five dollars. So so yeah, so like you gotta be careful because you can waste your money now. That's why I say you gotta deal more on a personal level when talking to your your Custom. consumers that are buying from you as a reseller because you don't want to go get something, but then you don't want to miss out either as a as a reseller. You don't want to be like. Hey, what size you need? They don't get back to you in time, and that you know, whoever you're dealing with, that size gone. So now you see how the game. You, so you almost got to buy the shoe to know you just have it in your stock. Right. And if you ain't got that type of uh, storage space or you know facility to hold all this stuff, then you're wasting your money. Cause now you gotta go get on StockX and <laughs> sell it for one fifty five, and you pay two. <laughs> What two twenty two forty? And for them, I know that you got you gotta pay extra to get that shoe. You ain't just getting that shoe. You know, these resellers don't handle Nike contract. Nike contracts are coming to people that are have businesses, right. LLCs, and ha actually have a good market. What they're doing, you know, and are legit. I'm not saying resellers are not legit, but you know, just having a storefront. So if you ain't got that, you buying it from somebody else, and you paying the extra on top to get that shoe. It might not be as much as you about to sell it for because you're gonna buy it in bulk. So uh, I just did, so for size 10, 
highest bid is 150. So if I sell it now on StockX, it says my payout will be 126 dollars and 50 cent. And you, that's a big L. <laughs> right. From retail and what you pay extra, because you if you pay 180. So right. If you shoot 180, you paying 196 after taxes. They are gonna then tax theirs probably another. If you buy in bulk, probably 25 dollars on top, 25 right. to 30 dollars. So what we looking at? That's 196 minus. What do you say? Let's say. Let's say just, just say 196 plus two plus uh 25. Plus 25, so 221. So, so and I say 220. 220 to 230. Right. And what you charging? What they uh, they charge you that you buying the shoe for? Then you gotta come back on top and charge somebody else 250, 260 to even see some of the profit. Some hope they are gonna pay that. Right. But you like I said, it's a first comp. It's a first base thing. Now I gotta catch you. Hey, you want the shoe to be the first one with it? Right. That's what it's gonna come down to. Certain people. So trying to get the get the shoe to the consumer before it comes out. Yeah. To make sure that you know that that part, or be just make sure that the day of that person is solidified that they know they got the shoe. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. So yeah. you you beating the you trying to beat the day because you know at any time that number that you have can change and you can lose. Yeah. So you got to catch it before the hype is gone. Yeah. You know. I think like you said, being patient is a big major thing because there's probably two bare shoes for sure that I could have saved over a hundred dollars in resale value mm -hmm. by just waiting. Right. So now, um, when we talk about like Travis Scott's and stuff like that, those are very limited to only certain businesses, uh, you know, boutiques. Not everybody, not even Foot Locker's getting those. So that's always going to sit at a higher value because right. of the number of shoes and quality, quantity of number that are being sold to the public. Because of limited, because right, of the limitations, rare and limitations. Yeah. So that as, that's a different aspect from like the regular Jordan ones that you just see in the stores are. General release shoes, right? You know, so that way you can, if you can get your hands on it, you can capitalize on that easy with one pair. Yeah. You know, but you gotta be connected in some way, some shape, form, or fashion, or know somebody. But you still gonna have to pay extra still to get that shoe. The shoe go for one fifty. You are gonna pay six hundred, probably uh, what five hundred to get it, a shoe, maybe more, and then you gotta sell it for more. Then you can probably still sell it for more because of the, the limitation, the right. limits on it. You could probably sell it for probably a thousand dollars or plus. So you make your money back, but it's it's like you got to make sure you had the funds. Still a gamble, right? Because you don't know where that that line. Even though regardless of where that line is, you're still making money off of it. You just want to make sure you're making more money than what you what you paid for from the other person. You you just a middleman. Yeah, pretty much. There's a so, lot to that, man. Cause I know, uh, man, I, it's funny you say that because I know a few people I've seen a few faces that have worked at you know these standard stores like Foot Locker. Foot Action, Champs, no, no more Foot Action. Foot Locker, right. Champs, JD Sports, Snipes, well, I think that's the main ones that's available City now, Gear. City Gear. Um, and I've seen them, you know, try to, you know, they'll either get the shoes from their particular store, they'll go from store to store to try to get shoes to resell. Or I've even seen them in lines with me. I know for the Jordan 12 playoffs, I was at Dick's Sporting Goods, and one of the guys that was in line, he was waiting to get the shoe, and he's calling people to try to sell them while he's waiting to make sure that as soon as I get these, I'm heading to somebody, you know what I'm saying, in order to. Make to sell. Yeah, you gotta, I, you gotta make sure because it's, you're gonna sit on it after a while. Like, if you don't sell it right then and there, the day of, if not the day after, you sitting on that for for some time, unless you get on, unless you put, get on some of these apps and take an L and some shit, because you're gonna have to, they're gonna take their money, they're gonna get their money out of it. Yeah. So you're gonna lose a little something, you might even break even. You know, if you don't return the shoe back, because if you buy the shoe, more likely that's most people do. They'll go ahead and just return the shoe back because if they can't find nobody to buy now, most resellers they just go ahead and hold on to it, hoping that the value of it go up. Right. But that's not always the case. Not for every shoe now, for for sure. As we see shoes still sitting on wall, shoes going lower to retail. Like I said, for people that are not able to cop from resellers or be able to win the raffles. There's always ways to still get the shoe yeah. uh, at sometimes better price, you know. So it's just all it's really a waiting game sometimes, depending on certain shoes uh, when it comes to getting shoes now. But me, and I mean, I'm pretty sure for yourself, we can wait all day if we want the shoe. There's the so shoe. many options you know? of stuff that needs to be worn. Um, I'm trying to remember the last, I mean, these shoes that I have on are the last pair of shoes that I did stock, the custom ones you made before that, um, 
I've been trying to undestock more shoes than usual, but I still want to go back to shoes that I really like and want to wear. Um, so it's always a dilemma. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, like you say, being able to wait and having that patience is uh, what it's all about. And I think you're able to come out with a better deal that way. But um, like you say, you can't really sit on shoes now. So if you come across shoes and you're able to sell them, you got to sell them within that day and stuff. Because you got to you gotta try to find the people that want the desire so bad that, you know, they're going to get nervous of not either not having them and that I'm going to have to either pay higher in resale or, you know, stuff like that. So I think that's what it comes down to. Uh, now in the resellers game like you said, but like you shoe sitting It does give the opportunity for a lot of people that want to get in the sneaker game or get fly sneakers to be able to grab some Because mm -hmm. those so I was in Arizona and I remember seeing the lucky green ones, you know sitting um, And being able to grab a pair at a few stores um, And you got yours from a store online. I hit on sneakers. Okay, so you hit on sneakers. Gotcha. So you hit on sneakers um, Whenever shot, the, I had the shot drop alone. Oh, so you shot drops. You got those ahead of time. Yeah. Got you, got you. Okay. So yeah, uh, I mean, you know, you're able to get you an OG one now. Uh, I think true. What is it? The was it true blue? The ones with the ones your OG ones. The one we were just talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, those that as well. You was able to kind of get those and stuff like that. So. Um, does the shoe sitting you feel take away from the the flyness or the exclusiveness of it or? Uh, no, I mean exclusiveness is just kind of what you make of it. Uh, the flyness is pretty much based on you, you know, yeah. whatever your fly is. Because what I might, like with these shoes here, what I might find fly, you might not. Yeah. So it's really subjective when it comes to whatever your style is at that time. Or, you know, for some people it is about a trend. Right. For me, I don't really do trends. I just kind of go with how I feel. If I feel, if I feel like putting on a three-piece suit to go eat pizza, guess what? I'm getting a three-piece suit to go eat pizza. You know? That's just it's just how I feel, you know. Right. But uh, I don't think that you know determines what's for me at least. Right. I can't speak for everybody else. That doesn't determine what my flyness or style is. It's just based off of me on how I feel and what I what I like. You know, everybody kind of follows their own individual people. And you know, follow their styles and stuff. Try to imitate them because they like their styles. Nothing wrong with that. But right. I definitely believe it's a you should always create your own lane when it comes to style. Sneakers and style. Yeah, yeah sneakers and style. You know, but teachers on. You know, uh, sometimes you think, man, I, I wish I could have sat on. I probably could have got them for cheaper. But you never know at that time. You know, which, especially with Jordan ones, they kind of hit the miss and I believe. Up you don't down. catch them. If you don't catch them, sometimes you might not have another chance to get them. It might be where you have to pay a little bit more. So. Uh, I'd rather pay retail if anything before I pay resale. All right. Now, if I get it at a good discounted price, then that's even better too. But my goal is always try to get it at the retail price before I get it at resale. That's a smart way to look at it. And the reason why I say that because a lot of times I'm on Twitter, so the first thing people put is bricks, the bricks emoji. And bricks usually mean, you know, either the shoe is not going to resale for high or they don't sell out. And people are like, oh, they bricks. And that determines why a lot of people in the sneaker collection or if they're going to purchase it or not because the shoe is a break. And I'm like, yo, if you want the shoe, get the shoe. People used to complain that shoes were hard to get. Now that they're easier to get, oh, they're bricks or they're not selling out or nobody wants these. You know, it's all down to if you want them or not. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that should definitely persuade, sway you into making that purchase and stuff like that. I mean, I know I'm... I'm big on that. Uh, you know, I have Reebok classics that I just bought. I'm a huge fan of the Feli Grand Heels. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you know, either way, I'm a rock. I'm gonna look fresh. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Uh, so you know, yeah. yeah. But um, all right. So <laughs> we actually have other topics, but I actually have to run and take care of some stuff. So we're gonna cut this episode here. Line and I will be back to discuss the other topics. Yeah. Um, you know, I always. Uh, seeing other people whose shows go for a couple hours and stuff and I see how that happens because there's a lot more we need to discuss but um, just time crunch I kind of scheduled this before finding out that I do have something else to do but uh, we will be back uh, so stay tuned I guess kind of for part two we'll break down a lot more things um, I know the first half was kind of going through the sneakers that we got but uh, yo I'm very happy with what we did discuss and talk about let us know your comments your thoughts uh, you can follow us I'll let Lonnie tell his Social media. Lining underscore smell good. On. Oh, uh, that's on Instagram. Uh, on Twitter, it's Lining is dope. So there you go. Uh, my 
for me, you just do my case to passion on Instagram underscore MKTP on Twitter. As you always uh, resort people to uh, the sneaker page, and you know you'll see me comment and stuff on there if you want to follow me. Uh, you know, kind of like a little uh, rabbit hole, rabbit hunt. If you really want to follow me, you go through it. And yeah, fi yeah, fine. <laughs> it's easy to find. It, it won't be hard. <laughs> but yeah, man, uh, and I'll probably have it up on the screen anyway. But uh, man, definitely appreciate y'all for listening and watching. Uh, definitely comment, let us know your thoughts, your feelings, uh, what latest sneaker releases you picked up. What was your favorite sneaker out of the few that we showed uh, that you liked? Um, but yeah, that's all we got for this one. We will be back very soon. Peace. Peace.